I have about 13 cars in my car collection. My car is worth about $3 million. What up, guys? I'm Patrick Peterson. Welcome to my garage. And I'm going to show you my car collection. My love for cars started when I was about seven years old. It didn't dawn on me just then, you know, you know saying that I was going to be a car guy. I had an opportunity to watch my dad and his friend build a 72 Nova. So just seeing, you know, the time, the dedication, the passion that went into building a car, I was like, man, if I'm able to build a car of my choice one day, I want to feel that same excitement and joy that my dad friend felt you know, once the project was done. After my rookie season, I wanted to get established. My first car that I got was a Tahoe, actually. And I got my girlfriend at the time, my wife now, uh, she had the Beamer 650. So those were the only uh, two cars that we had at the time. Um, and then that off season, it's kind of uh, like when I kind of started dibbling and dabbling in, in, uh, into building and, uh, and just starting my own collection. It really never dawned on me about, you know, I'm gonna buy, you know, as many cars as I can. You know, it just came upon like, a lot of cars in my collection mean something to me. All my cars are kind of special, that holds their weight, hold their value, and definitely appreciate their value as well. I drive my cars all the time. I mean, that's what I got them for. I don't want them building up cobwebs and, you know, I spent all this money on my cars just to sit. You know, I, I spent, you know, my money on great products to see how it performed. I have about 13 cars in my car collection. My car's worth about three million. We're gonna start off with Mamba. It's a 2020 AMG GT Pro, call it Mamba. Really didn't do any modifications to it, just added a couple custom pieces on it. This stripe here was green. I changed it to black. And one of my favorite pieces here, took that, that Mercedes emblem out and put the snake for Mamba and the P2 logo. I think the names that I, I pick out for them are very, very unique. The name of my AMG is Mamba, and the reason I named it Mamba um, after the late Kobe Bryant. When I see my cars, I always, I, I kind of fill them out. I, I kind of, when I look at them, I kind of, like I'm not thinking of the name. The name always just come to me for some odd reason. Before I changed this uh, black stripe, it had a neon green stripe on it. And when I saw it, I was like, damn, that reminds me of the Mama Snake, the Black Mama Snake, you know, and I, and I, I watch a lot of Animal Planet, and it's two different ones. It's a, it's a black one, a green one. And that green was kind of like that same color of the green Mamba. Named the car Mamba, put my logo on, and the cool thing about this car is that I got Kobe Bryant logo. Took out the, the big Mercedes uh, emblem, and I put the uh, the snake logo with my logo in uh, inside of it. I love this car. Like I said, this car is, is this would be the car if I if I had to give everything up, you know, if, you know, here in the desert. Mamba, Mamba will be the one to stay. And what an incredible car, just from the sound, the, the way it handles, power, the sleekness of the car. I mean, Mercedes really outdid themselves with this new body style. And I can't wait for the Black Series to come out. Um, I'm hoping I can get that one as well. That one's gonna be even much better than this car. Right here, we got that 2013 Copo that you don't see many of in the world. Like I said, it, this one is one of three that's fully uh, uh, aspirated, um, but it's also manual. A very powerful car. Uh, I got this in 2013. I paid about like 125-ish for it. A little bit, probably a little north than that. But this is a, a strictly a drag car. This car probably been down to this track maybe three times, but I do have times on it. Right here, we got Rocky. My 73 Chevy Caprice, this is the dump. Uh, I got push start, Bluetooth radio, AC in the rear, it's convertible. I got 26 inch uh, Ford Giados on it, fully custom underneath, but also still nice and clean. Got the LSA uh, supercharged, uh, big block, fully custom. Interior, I love red, red on red stitching. The thought process behind this car was I wanted it to look like the inside of my my Don. So it has a lot of characteristics of the Don as far as the armrest in the front and the back and also what you won't see in many Donks, the AC in the rear. Many Donks don't have AC, you gotta let, let alone AC 
in the rear. It is push start, but the dashes is not too, not too glamorous. I wanted to keep it kind of simple, but still uh, flashy in a sense. You know, so I didn't want to go too too far overboard. Rocky, it, that is my baby. That is the dream car. And the reason her name is Rocky because that's the car I built twice. Wasn't really pleased on the way the, uh, the first build uh, turned out. The car was done in 2015 and it's a completely different car. Um, like I said, it was a rocky road. I'm getting it to where it finally is because it's finally what I wanted it to be. Really went all out on this car um, um, from push button start to six lugs uh, uh, wheels. You won't find that anywhere. Most people give me grief about that because you, know, you don't see six inch lugs on dunks. And the reason we did the six inch lugs because it's much safer. Like I said, that car is pretty much man-made, you know, so I want to be able to go back to my, my baby girls at night. I want to be able to, you know, lay my head on my pillow at night if anything was to happen. The car I won't sell is, is my Caprice, it's Rocky. That's the car I won't sell. Rocky will be the only car that's, that's not up for any discussion. This is Bodacious, my 68 Camaro. This is one of a, of a couple cars that, that I have that's fully original on the uh, on the interior. Only did a couple changes on this car, swapped out the motor, the transmission, just wanted more power. This car is a, a nice, small, compact race car that I felt that, you know, those small touches would bring it to life. The reasoning behind the name Bodacious, cause it's, it's a badass, man. It's just, you know, it, it's ready to erupt as soon as you crank it up. Cause literally it's, we call it a tie burner. Cause every time we take it out, I, I burn the tires, I put it up, you know, cause it's, it's just one of those type of cars that it can't be on the highway. Like it, it's just too much power and just too much car to be on the highway. Cause it, I, I honestly would get in too much trouble driving bodacious, but it is a fun car to drive whenever I do fire it up and take it out here every once in a while. I love that car. I got that car in 2014. For my birthday, I was like, man, this car kind of sick. And I wanted, uh, at the time, I, I, I wasn't looking for a Camaro, but I wanted a Camaro. And I was like, this is a perfect Camaro. It had a, um, the guy kind of already redid it. You know, had a very mint conditioning, a frame on it already, a four link, um, had a uh, had nice muffler on it. So all I did was basically just change the motor, the transmission, and I put a, I put a roll cage in it because like I said, it's, it's just, it's too much power. So. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And yeah, that's all I did. I believe that car is probably making every bit about upper six, upper 600 horses. Next, we have my 2001 car 55 Camaro Del Earnhardt Senior Intimidator. This is car 55, you can see 55 all over it. Um, you see the certificate when the car got registered. And I did nothing to this car. This car has, I think, just under 6,000 miles. So this car was, is well taken care of. Uh, I stretch it, I stretch his legs every once in a while. Next, we got 2018 Don. Did nothing to this car. This car is just factory built. Boss lid is very, very simple. It's a white Don with white interior with the uh, like the red stitching. And it just speaks for itself. You know, it's just very, very, it's bossy, very, very big car. You know when you see Ecstasy, that's the uh, the name of the uh, the angel on the car. When you see that that thing rolling, you you know you mean business. That's why I call it Boss Lady. When you're in that car, you, you, you like I said, you know you mean business. And nine times out of ten, I'm 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 only in that car on Sundays when I'm driving to the stadium for the most part. Next, right here, we got Stallion. Stallion is a, a Porsche GT3. This is a track car. Being here in Arizona, you, you get attracted to so many outdoor things that they have around here, like, you know, racing, you know, mountain climbing to, you know, uh, ATV riding. And this was one of the cars that I always saw at the track. And I was like, man, you know, that'd be a cool car to add to my collection. It would be something different. I didn't have a track car. I didn't have anything that was built to operate in that manner. I started like in racing in my Camaro. I painted it like a, a smoke gray. And that was like the first car that I ever had, you know, that kind of like started like my race collection. I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna have like a race collection, this is gonna be my race collection color. 
So this is where this paint color came from. My Camaro was already that color. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna add the GT3 to your race to my race collection. And that's what made me do the color change on this car. And that's pretty much all I did to this car. I did the color change. We added the, uh, the radish stripe from the front of the car all the way through the tail. We just painted the rim well, that orange, kind of like a, it's kind of, it, it looked, it's red to me, but it kind of has like that, that orange, orange feel. This is the ATV, believe it or not, that started my car collection. As mundane as that might, that may sound like how can an ATV um, start your uh, car collection. Those numbers mean something to me because first and foremost, that's the, oh, I'm the only player to have four punt returns in a season over 80 yards. And those are all of my touchdowns in the 2011, 2012 season. Been with me since, since I've been in the league. So it's, it's nine years old now. So it's almost as old as uh, my NFL career. This is my razor that I was telling you about that I take out to, to the dunes in the springtime for the most part or, the, or in, in the winter. For the summer, summertime is just entirely too hot around here to take those out. So those are my, you know, my toys away from my cars. Next, we're gonna talk about my 2017 Camaro. It's a ZL1. Can't tell you when I got this car, but I got it around the year that it came out. I love the way they sound, love where they come off the lot. You know, they're just something about a Camaro, especially the upgraded ones. It's just something about, uh, just something about them. You know, just, they handle well, they run well. It's just a great car to kind of get your feet wet, in my opinion, into muscle cars, because with the new technology that these cars have, it kind of, it kind of handicap you to do certain things. So didn't do much to this car as well. Just painted it that P2 racing collection color. Something that we did cool on all the race cars, uh, we put like this self healing uh, wrap on it. So if it's any uh, chips or uh, rock dings, you just peel that kind of second, first layer of skin off. Um, it doesn't damage any of the paint. And you put another, put another slab of it back on it. The reason why this car is gray smoke and <laughs> the first time I got it, I kind of, because I was doing all the reading, reading up on it, how to unlock the car, this, that, and the other. First time I got it, the guy backed it up. He uh, dropped it off off the trailer and let the tires sing as soon as I got it. So that's where uh, Gray Smoke gets its name from. Here we got Gramps, 73 C10. Just small modifications to this car. We lowered it. Uh, we put a, a wood grain bed in the back here which is pretty cool. You kind of saw that um, back in the day. That was kind of like one of the things if you had like a, a wood grain um, bed, like it was, like he was, he was doing something. So this car did not have that. I added that to it, lowered the truck a little bit, put bigger tires on it, bigger wheels. And like I said, this car right here is kind of original as well. I always have to put a P2 touch on it. But on the dashes, I got P2 logos in there, but that's probably the only flashy thing that you're gonna see, cause I did say I don't put numbers on my stuff, but that is very subtle and nobody will um, rarely see that if they're not driving the car. This is an actual paint job. Car did not come like this. We did a, a bunch of different work up under the hood, just real, real clean. You know, just something that, that sticks out about this car on the hood hinges is, you know, most cars, it's a headache on getting the hood up. Just one pop. Easy open access, nice and clean under here. Uh, I got a 454 bit block. Since Pokey has a lot of power, I, I kind of wanted to have like that racing vibe on the inside. So it has the bucket seats in there. I used to have a bed on the back of here and I had brass knuckles to open and close the beds. But now, since I did the motor swap, it's gonna have more power. I'm gonna have the brass knuckles up here as hold bars. That's another cool thing that's gonna be, that's gonna stick out <clears throat> um, with Pokey. If you see it, it just look like a beat up old truck, but if I put the pedal to the metal, you better hold on. It's a whole team. Um, the only thing that I've done um, myself, I have painted uh, two of my cars, but other than that, I haven't really done like, any major work like talking about I maybe pulled out an engine or two because I do a lot of engine swaps <laughs> around here because uh, sometimes the power don't fit my needs. I tend to buy a bigger uh, bigger motor every single time I, uh, I get one of these cars. So done that a couple of times, but 
um, other than like far as getting my hands actually dirty. No, I just sit back and watch and let the pros do what they do. And they can't come out on the football field and say, man, let me play cornerback. <laughs> All right, this is my 72 Chevelle. I just got this back maybe, what, last week? Pretty much everything was done with the, uh, the motor aspect of it. We just had to get the interior uh, all figured out and, uh, and all taken care of. We still got a couple things that we need to tighten up, but for the most part, all the headache of the interior work is done. I just put some racing uh, bucket seats in there, wrapped it with some peanut butter uh, leather, put a waterfall um, in the back, and I also put a roll cage in that as well because that car has a ton of power. That car is uh, has a 427 uh, small block, but it has a 16 boost Whipple uh, supercharger um, on it as well. I just think uh, once this car hit the road, I'm de I definitely probably would get a lot of offers for that car once that car hit the road for sure. Every car in here has its own feel and flavor, and that's what I love about them. That's the beauty of my collection. You know, I don't, I just don't have one particular brand or genre area of, of cars. I kind of have it all. Here it is. This is my world. This is my garage. This is my spot. Where's yours?